Very good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the very important topic in halo alkane and arene. That is the order of reaction in SN1 and SN2. So we have to solve this. So which type of compound, which compound is highly reactive towards to SN1 and which compound is highly reactive to SN2. We have to find out this order. By the way, we have to keep two things in mind. What are the two things? So here the SN1 and SN2. That is a unimolecular and bimolecular equilibrium substitution reaction will always be faster in. So if here it is 3 degree will be very faster and 2 degree will be very faster and here 1 degree will be slow. So likewise and uh, opposite reaction 1 degree and 2 degree and 3 degree. So if you don't know this concept, you watch my previous video, then you will get idea about this faster reaction in SN1 and SN2. You will be getting a good idea about this. And second thing we have to keep it in mind, this is a steric hindrance. Steric hindrance. What is a steric hindrance? So that also affects, that also going to affect SN1 or SN2. So the predict, prediction of uh, uh, faster in SN1 and SN2 will contribute two factors. One is a degree, another one is a steric hindrance. Let's see one by one. So here first of all our aim is to find out the degree of the component. Then we have to see the steric hindrance. That's it over. So we can find out the SN1 and SN2 order. The first thing, the first compound, C6, H5 and uh, CH2. I can write here, CH2 will be written like this. So H and H, so here it is Br. Now we can find out the functional group. Functional group is attached with the carbon. That carbon is attached with the only one carbon, one side carbon. So that will be one degree. If you don't know about this, you must watch my previous video, then you will get an idea. And then the second component, what is that? C6. H5 is there and the C, one side is H, another side is Br and the side is C6, H5. Okay, so that's what about the degree. So functional group is there, carbon is there, carbon is attached to the two carbon, so that it is 2 degree. Okay, and third compound we can see that is a C6, H5 given and here also same, here also H is given. Instead of CH3H5, here CH3 will be given. So as we should, BR will be given like this. Here it is also 2 degree. How it will be 2 degree? So it is the functional group. Functional group attached to the carbon. The carbon is attached with the 2 carbon. That is what is 2 degree. So now we can find out the degree. So here it is 1 degree. Here it is 2 degree. And here it is also 2 degree. What about this degree 1? So we have to calculate. So how we can find out the degree? So write the compound name C6H5 and here it is C and here it is CH3. One more C6H5 is there and here it is Br is there. So what about the degree? So functional group is attached to the carbon. The carbon is attached with three carbon atoms. So that it is three degree. Now we found out the degree of the compounds. Okay, the first factor is over. We find out the degree. It is 1 degree, 2 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree. As usual, SN1 reactivity. How we can see? So here, SN1. So what kind of reactivity order? 3 degree and 2 degree and finally 1 degree. This order should be followed. So as per this law, what about this thing? So this will be react very faster in SN1. SN1, this compound will be reacts very faster. How we can see? So this is a 3 degree. So if the compound 4. 4 will be very fast. Okay. And then what about the 2 degree? 2 degree, 2 different 2 degree components is there. So in which, so we saw about that. Here only CH3 group is there. Here C6H5 is there. Which one is bulky group? When compared to these two things, both are bulky groups. In compared to these two things, which one will be bulky? So this will be highly bulky. So this will be undergoing SN. One very faster because of steric hindrance. The steric, more steric hindrance, more favors the SN1 reaction. And third one is, this is the third one. This is a, because that's also 2 degree. And finally we have 1 degree. That is 1. So this is the order of reactivity for SN1. Now we can find out the SN2. SN2 is just opposite for SN1. So here initially the 1 degree carbocate, so, sorry, 1 degree alcohol will be reacts faster. So 1 will be reacting faster. And the steric hindrance will be more, so the less steric hindrance will be preferred in SN2, so that, so the order of reactivity is 3, 
and then it is 2 and then it is 4. Okay, so exactly reverse of this SN1 will be called as SN2. Now I think so you get idea about this predicting the order of SN1 and SN2 reaction. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and please make forward this videos and share the videos to everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much.